This is the Momentum Podcast. I may sound a little out there and I'm totally okay with that. But if you're not getting what you want out of your business, out of your life, if you're not experience the, experiencing the growth that you want, if you don't have the, the clients, the members, the people around you that you want, it may be that the energetics in your life are wrong and you're not putting the right energy out there. I'm Alex Sharfin, and this is the Momentum Podcast, made for empire builders, game changers, trailblazers, shot takers, record breakers, world makers, and creators of all kinds. Those among us who can't turn it off and don't know why anyone would want to. We challenge complacency, destroy apathy, and we are obsessed with creating momentum so we can roll over bureaucracy and make our greatest contribution. Sure, we pay attention to their rules, but only so that we can bend them, break them, then rewrite them around our own will. We don't accept our destiny. We define it. We don't understand defeat because you only lose if you stop and we don't know how. While the rest of the world strives for average and clings desperately to the status quo, we are the minority, the few, who are willing to hallucinate there could be a better future. And instead of just daydreaming of what could be, we endure the vulnerability and exposure it takes to make it real. We are are the evolutionary hunters, clearly the most important people in the world, because entrepreneurs are the only source of consistent, positive human evolution, and we always will be. I just want to put this out there here at the beginning of this podcast. I'm, I may sound a little out there because I talk about energetics. I may sound a little woo woo because I believe in the spirituality of all of us being connected as human beings. I may sound a little nutty when I say that I believe by just walking into a room, you can affect the other human beings around you. Now, I'm okay with anybody who judges me for that because I'm a scientist. I know I look like an entrepreneur. I, you know, I, I think <laughs> I take on a lot of different roles, but one of the primary roles that I play in my own life is that of scientist. I hypothesize, I conduct experiments, I see what's happening, and then I go back and correct the hypothesis and come up with conclusions. And I do that in my business. I use our system of analyze, prioritize, commit, execute, and renew to do things what we need in our business. That is a scientific process. And when I look at the energetics of being a human being, for me, this is all scientific. You can call it fluffy. You can call it woo-woo. But let's, get, let's look at the real science here. Let's look at just some of the scientific fact that we've now discovered as human beings. One, emotional contagion. We now know it's real. When somebody is emotional in a room, when somebody has a reaction in a room, they affect every other person in that room. Whether the people in the room are aware of the reaction or not, they will feel it. Their heart rate accelerates. The chemical composition of their blood changes. We affect each other. This is scientific fact. When you look at who we are as human beings, what are we as human beings? We are one massive bundle of energy. Our bodies are head to, held together by atoms flying around, or by, by the particles of atoms flying around in, in a energetic combination that makes us who we are. We actually are made up of energy. And when human beings spend time together and around each other, we start to physiologically affect each other. When we're around each other long term, our blood stakes on similar chemical compositions. When, when women are around each other long term, their monthly cycles all align. Human beings are tribal animals and we have been affecting each other energetically since the beginning of time. Now, this has massive applications to your business. But first, I want you to understand the energy you put up or put out is entirely up to you. And the energy we create in the world is entirely up to us. And so here's, here's where I use this in business. When I'm in a one-on-one -on -one coaching environment or when I'm talking to somebody about coaching, here's, here's energetically what we have to know. Solving doesn't serve. When you solve something for somebody, when they say, hey, I have a problem and you just tell them what to do, they don't learn how to solve the problem. So when I'm coaching energetically, I do everything I can to help the person self-discover the issue they are having. Rather than make statements, I ask questions. I lead them down the path of understanding for themselves because here's what happens when someone understands for themselves. The energetics of being handed something are vacant and empty and sometimes frustrating and can cause anxiety. Because when we're handed a solution and we don't know how we got there, sooner or later, that is going to be a liability. 
But the energetics of coaching someone to figure something out, of asking questions rather than making statements, of helping someone self-discover is completely different. See, if you give someone the solution or they self-discover, you end up at the same place. But when they self-discover, you are helping them build the muscles of getting, of helping themselves. You are helping them understand themselves at a, at a higher level. You're helping them solve for themselves and build the habit and the process of being able to do things for themselves. As a coach, the more you do for someone, the more energetically you weaken them. We might not see it that way, but the more that a coach just steps in and does it, the less you're allowing your client to. Now, being energetically aligned doesn't just happen. Being able to feel the energetics between human beings is a skill that you can develop, but most people don't even think about. And here are just a few pointers on getting into the place where your energetics are actually present, getting into the place where you can feel the energy of a situation, getting into the place where you can observe the interaction and the energetic effect that it's having and be able to take action on both. You know, since I figured out how to do this and it's been decades in the making, <laughs> I'll just share candidly. One of the first experiences I had with energetics in business was in my early twenties. I was working with an extraordinarily wealthy client. We were going into a meeting and he walked up to the door, stopped about a foot away from this large double door with the meetings, held his hands up. Like you might see a Baptist do in church, like straight up uh, on the door waited about seven or eight seconds and turned to us and said, let's go. This is going to be a good one. I, I waited like until after the meeting and we were in the car and I said, Hey, you know, what were you doing there before the meeting? And he said, he kind of laughed and said, Oh, I was checking the energy of the room. And I said, what, <laughs> what do you mean you were checking the energy of the room? He said, I stand there and I allow my body to tell me whether it's a good room for me or not, whether it's a room I should go into or not. And if I get the slightest discomfort, in those seconds that I'm checking the energy of a room, I let my team handle it and I walk away. This was one of the most successful human beings I've ever been around. Had so much money that there's no way in his entire lifetime he could possibly spend it no matter how hard he tried. He had generational wealth for generations and generations and generations of his family and literally moved the world around like puzzle pieces. Yet when he was walking into a meeting, he stopped and checked the energy. The more I talked to him, the more I learned about energetics, the more I talked to many of my clients, the more I learned about this stuff. And you'd be shocked at how often millionaires and billionaires are making decisions based on energetics, are making decisions based on muscle testing, are making decisions based on how they feel combined with the data and the business case and everything else. Here's how you can get there. Here's how I've watched some of the most successful people around me get to the place where energy is more clear, where your energy is more purposeful and where it's more deliberate. First, lower the pressure and noise in your life. <laughs> Entrepreneurs seem to be in a race today to see who can accept more pressure and noise in their lives and deal with it without dying. That is the wrong way to do it. As entrepreneurs, our awareness, our level, our ability to be present, our ability to travel into the future, create a new reality, come back to the present and demand it becomes real is how we grow. So lower the noise in your life relentlessly. Get rid of the people, the places and things that are causing you pressure and noise because pressure and noise, especially chronic repeated pressure and noise, chronically and repeatedly affects our energy. Get it out of your life wherever you can and you will step into your body more you will understand what's going on more. You will start to intuitively see the energetics of situations more. Second, be transparent with the people around you. Tell people what's actually going on. Share with them transparently and, and be real with them. And then here's one last one. Whether it's sales, presenting, coaching, or any interaction you have with a human being, people feel congruency. They feel congruency. If you are congruent and present and aware, you can actually make communication easier for the people around you. You can lower pressure and noise for the people in the room around you. You can increase transparency for other people. You don't even have to be the one being transparent. You can make other people be more transparent. Here's what happens at my events repeatedly over and over again is that people say they, they share things in our room that they've never shared before. They have feelings in our room they've never had before. They, they share emotionally in our room in ways that they've never been able to in any event anywhere. Here's my interpretation of that. 
We create an energetic environment through high levels of congruency, through a team that is highly aligned and is constantly lowering pressure and noise. We walk our talk on a daily basis. So everything we talk about in a room energetically feels completely congruent. And here's what happens. We create an environment where entrepreneurs can step into a better version of themselves. Entrepreneurs can reach a new level of vulnerability and transparency. They can discover where they really need to focus and put energy. And that allows them to create massive momentum and move forward. So whether you're running a business, navigating your family, or trying to move forward in the world, tapping into the energetics of a situation, understanding more about what energy is being conveyed and what you are putting out there will dramatically and significantly change not just your business, but your life. We would love to help you lower the noise in your life and in your business and tap into more of the energetics of any situation. When you put process and structure into your business, it will help you immediately lower the noise in your life, create more success and be more present and be more aware. We'd love to help you do that. If you have a minute, go to predictablebusinesssolutions.com, predictablebusinesssolutions.com.